In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use an external Max for Live device to apply envelope control to parameters on a plugin that don't normally have envelope controls available. So here I have this wonk bass, and it's one of the simpler presets, and if I play it, it sounds like this. Very soft, very mellow, very deep. Now I'm going to go to my Max for Live category, and I'm going to go underneath the Max MIDI Effect folder to find envelope.amxd. This is a Max for Live device. And I'm going to double click it, and it will go in right before the simpler plugin. Now, this is a MIDI effect. It will not work on audio tracks, but since this is a MIDI track, it will work just fine. In the envelope window, you can see the familiar parameters of attack, decay, sustain, and release, the ADSR. You can also see control knobs right underneath that. The first thing you need to do for this plugin is click the Map button. As it's blinking, any parameter you click on will be mapped to this control. I'm going to click on Frequency. And you can see that Filter Frequency has now been mapped to this envelope. If I press a key now, this envelope shape will affect this filter frequency. That's quite a big difference. If I adjust the attack time, I can adjust the decay. And I can adjust the release. So this filter frequency envelope control makes a huge difference in the sound. Now these numbers right here can change the control range of the envelope. So right now they're set to 0 and 100, meaning that this frequency control will go from its lowest setting to its highest setting. But I can adjust that, and as I do so, you'll see the knob being adjusted also right here. So maybe I just want to go between 50% and, or 54% and 76%. Now what if I wanted to control more than one parameter with this envelope? Well, there's this handy button in the upper right hand corner of the envelope plugin. And if I click it, I can map up to eight parameters to this envelope. So maybe I could map resonance. So I'll click map and click on resonance. And I'm going to adjust the parameters. Maybe I want that to go between 26 and maybe 40%. I'm going to get a little more filter frequency action here. Uh, maybe I want to map the drive. And that'll go between, let's say, 30 and 50%. And you could go on and on. You could also invert the relationship here. If I change this to, say, 60% and this to 30, now it will affect it, but it will be backwards. It'll go from the higher value to the lower value. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's give it a little more resonance. And let's invert that drive. That's a really nasty bass sound. I love that. So you can use the envelope plugin on any MIDI track to apply an envelope control to a variety of parameters.